Father God, we thank you for your wonderful presence this morning in your house. We thank you, Father God, as we lift up our voice, as we continue to lift up our voices into your presence, Father. God, we thank you, Lord, for a wonderful Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Father God, as we celebrate his, his birth into this world, Father. God, we pray that you will help us, Lord, our hearts, Father, that we will catch the, and grasp the reason, Lord, for this time of the year, Father. O oh God, Christ being God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, yet he came down, made himself lowly in the form of a man, and went down to the death of a criminal, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, wonderful Savior. Let's all confess that Jesus Christ is God. We thank you, Father, that our Christ is God. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, that we have such a wonderful Savior, our God, the Eternal One. We praise you, Lord. Lord, our hearts are thrilled this morning when we think, oh God, that, Lord, you, you, you were born into humility, Father. And we ask those of us, Lord, who worship you, we will worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. We pray, O oh God, for a broken and a contrite heart. We pray, Father God, Lord, that we would permit Jesus to be born in our hearts, Lord. Help us this morning, Lord, to make our heart a place for the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we will truly be born again, Father. We be born of your word, born of your spirit, born of your nature, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, Father, because you know how to exalt those who humble themselves, Lord, in Jesus' name, that we would be a people upon whom your favor rests, Lord. Thank you, Father God. If your favor is with us, we have everything, Father God. So this morning, we want to pray for our church family, Lord, even as we heard the word last night, Lord, that we will not be too busy during this season to forget our Lord Jesus Christ, that we would say, there is room in my heart for you, O Lord Jesus. Yes, Father, shall we say, there's room in my heart for you, O Lord Jesus. Father, we pray that the familiarity of the story, that we will not lose out on the awe, the wonder, and the grace of God that is behind the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. Father, I pray that every one of us will be captured, Lord, and captivated by the wonder of the glorious Lord Jesus Christ. Father, now fill the hearts of your people this morning and those who are listening online, Lord, that they will catch and be captivated by the glory and the grace, by that beacon of light that appeared that night, oh God, the stars that shone so brightly as we sang this morning will shine bright in our hearts over every challenge, over disease, over every put down, over every condemnation, over every demotion that we have experienced through this year, Lord, that this morning will be a morning of great liberation. In Jesus' name, we also pray, Father, but as we heard last night, that fear will not grip us just the way fear gripped Herod that night when we heard the message that a Savior is born. I pray, Father God, that we'll be liberated in Christ Jesus as a church family. Lord, that we would know, Lord, that there, is a, there are adjustments to be made in our life. Speak to each one of us, the young and the old, where we need to be transformed by the word of God, by the birth of our Savior in our hearts, Lord. We pray, Father God, you will touch every point in our life and in your loving and gentle way, lead us, for we are your sheep and you are the shepherd of our soul, Lord. Thank you, Father. Let's also lift up prayer for our nation at this time. 
O God, we know, Father, a nation is exalted by the blessing of the righteous. The righteous bless the land and the nation will be exalted. Father, we call to you, Father God. We lift up our nation to you from this house of prayer and we release God's grace to the nation, Lord, to our rulers, to the president, to those who rule us, Lord. We pray, Father God, that the grace of God will be available to them, that even they will catch the reason for this season, Lord. God, that they would be touched and moved, Lord, as we God's people pray for them, Father. We pray that God's wisdom will descend upon them. The wisdom that they do not have, they know, they will know that Christ is our wisdom, our righteousness, our redemption, our sanctification. In the wonderful name of Jesus, we pray for every family, Lord, every family this morning. We pray, Father God, that there will be true peace there will be shallow and there will be God's healing touch over every family. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.